clean air and fresh greenery in an industrial city are now an important matter of public concern. These roses grow over coal seams in the heart of the country's biggest coal mining area, the Donetsk Basin. The mining megapolis of Donetsk is one of the best industrial cities in terms of greenery and planning. In the first years of Soviet power, the entire Donetsk Basin produced one million tons of coal. Today, just one team, headed by Anatoly Polishuk, a hero of socialist labor, produces as much. This is a special holiday, Miner's Day. We have more holidays than red letter days in the calendar. One is the 1st of September, the beginning of the new school year. Traditionally, builders time the commissioning of new schools for the 1st of September. goes to children. This is a law of our life. The Black Sea coast of the Crimean Peninsula, a national resort, has also been dubbed the Republic of Young Pioneers. The famous Ukrainian philosopher and educationalist, Grigory Skovoroda, once compared Ukraine to a heavy ear of wheat. The Republic indeed has advanced agriculture and is the nation's breadbasket. Dmitry Matorny, hero of socialist labor and member of the national parliament, is chairman of a cooperative farm in the Kherson region. Living conditions and the catering services on the farm are improving all the time, just as elsewhere in the republic. Today, practically every family here has everything that a city has. Ukraine has bountiful orchards and vineyards. Ukrainian wines are exported to many countries. The city of Odessa on the Black Sea coast. 
Pushkin walked these streets. Singers from all over the world have appeared on the stage of the local opera theater. Odessa is the Soviet Union's main southern port. The Ukraine is one of the major exporter republics. This ship will soon leave the Kherson shipyards and sail to Greece to her port of registration in the Mediterranean. Such meetings are commonplace. They're evidence of the growing unity of the socialist countries. Here, textile workers of Kherson are playing host to their counterparts from Bulgaria. But the ties the Ukraine maintains with other countries go beyond pure business. Meetings between delegations of twin cities have become a tradition. Ukrainian cities have streets named after Kyoto in Japan Marseille in France, Florence in Italy, and Tampere in Finland. Vice President of the Spain-USSR Friendship Society, Juan Garrigues, previewing a concert program featuring amateur artists of the Kharkov tractor plant. Within the cultural exchange program, the group recently appeared in Spain. People of the Ukraine meticulously preserved their national traditions. The beauty of the landscapes, local customs, and traits of character, all this is reflected in the colorful folk art. Every region in the Ukraine has an image all its own. They're all different in the way of life, their songs and rites. The Transcarpathians, the land of high mountains and dense forests. Many songs and poems have been dedicated to the beautiful and bountiful land of Soviet Ukraine. The Ukraine is truly rich, and people are its greatest treasure. <laughs> 